Outfittersrating.com. Enter. You've entered Outfittersrating.com. Program engaged. Welcome, Bill. Welcome, Doug. Select this week's adventure. Select species, brown bear. Select location, Alaska. Select outfitter, hidden Alaska guides and outfitters. Outfittersrating.com TV starts now. Stunning, picturesque, vast. Numerous are the words that can be used to describe Alaska. None do it justice. Alaska is one of Outfitters Rating TV host Doug Hamerick's favorite destinations. The solitude and scenery are fantastic, and Doug truly appreciates both. But as a hunter, it's the tremendous quality and variety of big game opportunities that bring him back year after year. The quality of the people makes a big difference too. Doug has had several memorable adventures with Buck Bowden and hidden Alaska guides and outfitters. For this spring brown bear pursuit, Doug will be hunting out of Buck's remote camp in the shadows of the Alaska range. Timing is everything for this hunt. It needs to be warm enough so that the bears are coming out of their dens, yet cold enough the snow holds up for travel. Bush planes with skis, snowmobiles, and snowshoes are the only way to go. Doug's journey starts by bush plane, the only practical way to get to camp. While rustic, once Doug's in camp, he discovers he'll have most of the comforts of home, clean, dry place to sleep, even a sauna, delicious meals, and hot and cold running water. Well, sort of. Buck, how do you remember which one's for, which one's the bathing pail and which one's the drinking pail? Because they're all the same here. It's interchangeable. We just kind of mix and match here. In Alaska, you may not hunt the same day you've flown, so the remainder of Doug's first day is spent settling in, doing some glassing, and just soaking in the atmosphere. Doug's guide for this hunt is Jens Klar, a native of Sweden. Jens has guided for Hidden Alaska for 17 years, the duo starts their hunt on snowmobile. The primary method for hunting bear this time of year is to locate a den. Then it's a waiting game. Sometimes the bears will vacate their dens immediately and do not return. Some stick around several days. We hit it just right this year. The snow's late. Pack's still good. The weather's turned bright. It's unusual for me. I'm usually on the other end of that. But our timing is perfect this year. Did we hit it right? You sure did. We've had the coldest April in 30 or 40 years. And the bears are late coming out, but... Should be popping out like popcorn. This is really gonna help the, the cost. The snow's not melting yet. We can still get around on the sleds really well. It's a lot of fun. Jens is the expert in this area, as I'm told. Knows where all the bears are. 
So I don't want the one up there yet, so I want the one down here. Yeah, that'd be right on there. <laughs> From Doug's vantage point, he sees one of Hidden Alaska's other guests and guide waiting it out near a den. It's a long distance venture for all involved. Wow, well, that's exciting. Folks, these guys set up on this bear this morning. They've been up there all day. We actually spotted them yesterday, and they come in early this morning, set up on the den, poked his head out a couple times in the morning, just popped out about a half hour ago, and they got a good shot on him, and he rolled him down into the basin there. So, looks like a good board, a big board. Good job. That was awesome. All right. With the whole thing. Were you seeing him from the shot? All the way rolling down the hill, we had you guys up on the hillside. Doug's quest for an Alaska spring brown bear continues when Outfitters Rating TV returns. Outfitters Rating TV is brought to you by OutfittersRating.com. Trust, but verify. EuroOptic.com, the source for premium firearms and optics. Outdoor Dream Foundation, making dreams come true. Kamir Deer, the revolutionary deer attractant. And by Camp Chef, the way to cook outdoors. Outfittersraving.com will change the way you look at outfitters and charters. Outfitters, if you do what you say you do and run a quality business, it's a no-brainer. It's free, it's quick, and it's simple. Hunters and fishermen, now you have the resources to verify you get what you pay for. All you have to do is visit the Outfitter testimonials on the site and you'll understand why you want to be here. Outfittersrating.com. Trust, but verify. Doug Hamrick is hunting for brown bear with Buck Bowden and Hidden Alaska Guides and Outfitters. The primary tactic this time of year is to locate a den and hunt the bear from there. One of Buck's guides has located a den, but it's too far from the main camp to effectively hunt. Doug and his guide Jens Klar are flown in closer and set up spike camp. of enduring sub-zero temperatures inside a tent will be a small price to pay if Doug and Jens can get a shot at a giant Bruin in the morning. So we'll get up daylight or so and try Probably to slip Probably get up as soon as they get light, yeah. And we want to be there before he wakes up, oh, hopefully. You know. About the time sun comes up. Because he's pretty open. He, he can spot us pretty easily. So pretty we, steep where he's at. It's steep. I mean, where he's dug that den out, it's, it's yeah. spread down a mountain. Yeah, it so right now, we really don't know. He's got a big head, but we don't know if it's a sow, yeah. big boar, young boar. We haven't seen the body yet, and we haven't seen any cubs. So we're going to drive this bear. We're just going to follow the low part. Until we get in there, we're going to round the corner, and uh, from there, we're going to figure out what we're going to do. It looks like there's a, a ridge coming down within shooting range from the bear. The ridge starts pretty big, and it gets smaller as it gets closer to the bear. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe if we level with the bear, we can hide behind that ridge. Seen those 
last night. Do they leave at night? Usually not. I guess we just head up there to see if we can see. You think you went out this morning? I think you left last night. Last night. Myself. We had a bear in a den up here high. But he bailed out either last night or this morning, crossed over and went up through the bowl and over the top. He can move a little faster than we can. The good part is he's moving down towards the moose down there. Yeah. And so we might do be easy tracks to pick up on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Last night, dropped down and moved across. You probably do something pretty soon, eh? He's high. It's steep right there. You know, Jens, we talk about it all the time. Glass saving us. That's probably what, 2,000 feet. Mile, it's that ways have to cover. Yeah, and it's not the easiest mile either. No, it's tough. I mean, that bear had a hard time getting yeah. across there. Yeah, he's been sliding in a few places. We can see him with the binoculars, but without the scope, we'd be doing a lot of walking. We'd be having to go up there to see what it is. Yeah, yeah it ends up at, we think it's a sow. Yeah, it's you know it's pretty. It looks like it has a big head compared to the body. Mm -hmm. Has a short, short pointy nose and hardly any shoulders, so. So yes, we got dropped off last evening. Yeah. We can't hunt same day we fly no. here. So we had to wait beyond midnight. Is that how that works? I think it's past three o'clock in the morning. Past three in the morning. Mm -hmm. So then we get up and then we're able. So if we move again with the planes, yeah. we have to set a day. But if we do the snowshoes, or the, uh, yeah, if we do the snowshoes, we can hunt all day, right? Forever. We'll just stay on the snowshoes. All right. Which way are <laughs> not, we heading? Not, <laughs> Let's point, go get the snow point machines. Point in the direction you want to go. <laughs> While that stalk did not result in the bear Doug was after, he and Jens keep looking for the right bear when Outfitters Rating TV returns. It started as a service to help hunters find reputable outfitters. Now, OutfittersRating.com is taking its program to the next level. Book your next outfitted hunt or fishing charter with OutfittersRating.com. Book with confidence. OutfittersRating.com. You want to supercharge your corn, grain, or protein pellet? Try new Khmer Deer Corn Coat. Whatever you treat, the deer will eat. And corn coat is so simple to mix, you just pour it in and shake it up. We have had some absolutely amazing results by using Khmer Deer corn coat. You've got to try it. Khmer Deer. In my business, you're only as good as your gear, and nothing I carry gets more use than my optics. From my binoculars, to my rangefinder and spotting scope, I trust one brand. I'm Ivan Carter, and that brand is Leica. Eurooptic.com specializes in premium European optics and firearms. Visit Eurooptic.com for the complete lineup of Leica products. 
Book your next outfitted hunt or fishing charter with confidence. Outfittersrating.com. Thousands of outdoorsmen are using our service to find the right outfitter. Now, trust Outfittersrating.com to book your next adventure. Book with confidence. Outfittersrating.com. Doug Hamrick's spring bear pursuit with Hidden Alaska guides and outfitters hasn't gone exactly as planned. Outfitter Buck Bowden has done his usual great job of having all the pieces in place. A great camp, reliable gear and transportation, and a top-notch guide. Unfortunately, the bears aren't cooperating. Doug's hopes remain high. After all, this isn't his first Alaskan adventure. Through the years, he's had several great hunts there, including a recent memorable one with Buck. He's probably about five years old or so. He's got, he's got his points got coming all the way up on top here. Mm -hmm. Great job. Absolutely. I great enjoyed job. it I mean, it's so much. My lodge is based, uh, uh, it's about 120 miles northwest of Anchorage, and uh, uh, your only access is by airplane, uh, which we use. Uh, the lodge is, is on land that I homesteaded in the, uh, in the mid, mid 70s, and it's been pretty, pretty much a uh, a life's work worked for, for me. I've lived out here year round and uh, trapped in the uh, 70s and 80s. And uh, now um, uh, in the springtime, I have have my plane on skis. And then in the uh, summer, fall, uh, we switch it over over to floats. And so it's about a 45-minute uh, trip uh, trip for me to go go into town back and forth. And nice thing about, about this area, it's all in, when I staked land and homesteaded it, um, uh, this was a, uh, an area where, where the, it was only open to staking for two years. So I was basically the only one that staked land out here and since then they, they have closed it. So it's really unique and that uh, there is no other private land uh, in the vicinity. So we have, uh, uh, you know, thousands of of acres of uh, land here to hunt that that, uh, yeah, that we just hunt exclusively. While the hunting has been tough, the days are really flying by. Once again, Doug and guide Jens Klar have a den spotted. They set out to investigate. than a hunt, I think. <laughs> We're hiking, not hunting today. It felt more like sheep hunting than it felt We're in hunting. sheep country now, or we? Mm -hmm. we climbed a lot today. We did. Uh, Beautiful hike, but... No bears. What we thought was a den was not really a den. Well, that's the risk you run, I guess. <laughs> Chasing these high den bears. You know, you never know when you get up until you get up here and see them. Mm -hmm. but 
Beautiful, beautiful day. Well, the good news is it's all downhill from here. That's right. It'll be a few hours. You ready? ready. When you bring that sled with you? You should have. Let's go. Come pack your skis up here. A lot of things you should have done. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Mm -hmm. Another long hike, several hours spent investigating, and another dead end. The bears are proving elusive, and time is running out. Will Doug get his bear? Outfitters Rating TV returns in a moment. Folks, we truly love what we do, and we're proud to offer this service to you. But make sure you're utilizing it. If you're looking for an outfitted hunt or a charter, come to the site, look these guys up, and know what you're going to get before you go. Outfitters and charters, if you put your heart and soul into your business, this is the place you need to be. Join us. It works. At EuroOptic.com, we provide only the finest optics and shooting products available, including night vision and thermal vision monoculars, goggles, and weapon sights from brands you trust, like Benelli, EOTech, Saco, and Night Force. So the next time you're looking for quality optics or firearms, call us at 570-220-3159 or visit us at EuroOptic.com. Recently, a series of grueling tests were conducted to show the performance of today's top broadheads. Test one, durability. Swacker shows its toughness. Test two, penetration. Crushes this shoulder blade, cutting 18 inches deep. Test three, extreme angles. Swacker dominates the quartering shot. See how the Swacker performed in all the tests at Swacker.com. Outfitters Rating TV is brought to you by OutfittersRating.com. Trust, but verify. EuroOptic.com, the source for premium firearms and optics. Swacker, broadheads that open so fast you can hear the swack. Allegheny Industries, the leader in wireless installation and service. And by Leica. A spring bear hunt in the interior of Alaska depends greatly on the weather. It has to be warm enough so that the bears come out of their dens, yet cold enough for the snow to hold for skis on the bush plains, snowmobiles, and snowshoes. It's cold in this morning. We've got a bear located on the back side of this hill. We're just trying to figure out where the wind is right now. It keeps moving. The snow moved in overnight. It's getting foggy. It's steep where he's at, so we can't approach it from the other side. Outfitters Rating TV host Doug Hamrick thought he had this year's hunt timed perfectly, but the bear activity is slow. Now, with time running out, he and Jens Klar set out from Spike Camp. While the weather during the early part of the hunt seemed perfect, this is a different story. The white of the snow-covered ground bleeds into the white of the sky, which bleeds into the white of the fog. All in all, an impossible situation. We left camp this morning, come over the top because the wind was wrong. We wanted to approach yeah. around the outside. Then we get up top and it's sheer on the other side. We can't get down. We know it was going to be sheer, but we thought maybe we could see down, you know, but... Now we can't see three feet. Now the weather is closing in and we're just... I think we're just gonna have to, you yeah. know, make camp. And right now we're just worried about being able to find camp again. Literally, you can't see two steps in front of you because of the light. And it's kind of steep off here. Doug's hunt has come to its end. It's not the conclusion he'd hoped for, but nevertheless, it was a great adventure with a first-rate outfitter. Well, unfortunately, we got to wrap the hunt up. We weren't successful, but we did have a couple good opportunities. It's been record low temperatures in April for Alaska this year. It's the latest spring they've had. Snow's still on, the bears are still in the den. It's not your typical spring bear hunt. Buck's invited us back next year. We'll definitely be here. Hopefully, we'll have a little better luck. In the meantime, make sure to join us next week for another exciting adventure, Outfitters Rating TV.
an Outfitters Rating TV web special. Few know the awesome power of a brown bear like bush pilot Joe Houston. To hear Joe's amazing bear attack story, go to OutfittersRating.com.